This is Nurse Rose, and I'm here with our patient's daughter. This is our final session together. Can you please state for the record why? There's not much left to say that hasn't already been said. She's fragmented when we talk. She's never herself. Not her true self, at least. Whatever she sees in me, it's monstrous. I can't do this anymore. These things take time. How long? I've wasted big years of my life waiting for an absolution, and I can't wait anymore. If she really cares about me, she'll wake up. Please wake up. I'm sorry, but I'm glad you were finally able to hear it. It's been too long. Mommy, I found a way out this time. Don't trust Rose. She wants to keep us here forever. But we have to fight back. Every time she drives you through these nightmares, I'm right there. She makes me watch you forget about us. You need to find my key. Even when she doesn't want you to anymore. My key is our escape. She doesn't know about it. I hit it. Go find it. We've done this a hundred times. And you never change. You created that Emily in the dark pit where your memories used to be. She's out of control. I can't do this anymore. Find the tape and kill that bitch. that once hunted you. Kill the roles, kill their Emilys, and you'll find yourself. I thought I could 
Memories are not facts. They are interpretations. Just stories we tell ourselves. Like the story of the undying love between you and your daughter. Please accept my gift. I hope it will shed light on your new perspective. Why are you lying to me? Why are you doing this to me? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I mean. You aren't my daughter. So stop pretending to be her. But, Mom... Don't call me that again. Don't you ever call me that again. What are you wearing? I am just wearing my clothes. You bought them for me. Shut up. Stop talking. I don't want to see you wearing my daughter's clothes again. I can't stand you. <laughs> Quit crying. Get changed now. You've been nothing but a curse since you stepped foot in this house. They were about to have me committed. Who did you tell? Do you have any idea what I need to do now that I've lost my job? Mom, I, I mean, ma'am, I didn't want any of this to happen. I didn't mean for you to lose your job. I'm sorry. I gave you food and shelter, and now you're spreading lies about me. We're the talk of the town now. Everyone thinks I'm horrible. I won't say anything again. It's too late. I need to be careful until this dies down. Stay here. Where are you going? I'm going to get help so I can sort this out. You know we both can't keep living like this. I promise I'll try to find your parents once I find my real daughter. But I am your daughter, can't you see? I can tell you anything about her because I am her. Please listen to me. Don't go there again. You really think a mother wouldn't know her own child? Look, here's a photo of her. You're nothing alike. How do you know so many things about her? I was watching old movies you were in, and I was looking through our photos. Don't do that anymore. We've set boundaries. She isn't you, and I don't want you to be her. I can't have my mind infected with these thoughts. I'm sorry. I'll try to act differently. It's just... Never mind. I need to apologize for how I treated you when you were a child. I'm sorry. Promise me one thing, dear. What is it, Lori? I'll find my real daughter. You have to tell her that I'm sorry I couldn't see her grow up. Tell her that mommy loves her and will never forget. <laughs> okay. I promise. Thank you. For 50 years, you denied what was right in front of you. 
and the reality of what you've done condemned you to this place. Your daughter wasn't replaced. She didn't die in that fire. And you abused the child you mourned. Now you have a chance to use what time's left to make amends. Goodbye.